there we go, it's rolling again. Yay, hi. So, um, yes, somebody had asked me what I what I do to, what I use to make these things. So I figured, yeah, it's easy enough. Um, this is a, a nicer um, mechanical pencil. It's easy to reload, which is really why I got it. So um, I think it was about seven bucks. Uh, and there were two of them in the packet. But they're really nice. They have a tiny eraser on top, but more important, like I said, they're sturdy and they're easy to reload. And that doesn't leave a whole bunch of um, plastic things in the trash, which was very upsetting to me. Um, although I do need for this, um, you see this little grippy thing that makes it a bit wider, like this pen? I need to get another one of these uh, for this one because I have joint issues. So um, it's really hard for me to hold my hand like this for a long time without something to um, to push against that pushes back. So a wider pen. These are much easier on my hands. So, um, and I think these things come in like packs of six or something for a dollar, these silly little uh, gel things. Um, so highly recommended for those who have joint problems, just get a little <laughs> doodads. Who knew we'd go back to them after school? <laughs> um, this is just a simple gummy eraser. Um, you can see it. It's a good hand, or hand exercise, and it's also a very good eraser. I mean, I like it. It doesn't leave all the little bits around that other erasers leave, because um, those bits drive me crazy too. <laughs> but also, I just really prefer the way it does things. And then, um, I don't have a pow or a noise in here, but, you know, I, oh, there we go. Pop. This is usually done with a simple, straight-up Sharpie. Um, all the fine lines are done with one of these Sharpie pens. Um, and let's see if we can get the camera to focus again. Probably not. Um, yeah, sometimes it notices that there's something in the front. Anyway, um, it's, a, it's a fine nib. It does a fine line. And I got a box of 20 of these on Amazon for, uh, like about a dollar a pen, I think. No, maybe half of that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point was, it was infinitely more affordable than finding them in a regular store, so heads up. They used to sell boxes of them at the office store. I don't know why they stopped. It was very sad. And then this is the gray that Puppy has. Um, see, it's a cool gray 60%. Uh, Prismacolor pen. This is, like, as fancy and schmancy as I get. There's the thingy and yeah just that tip I don't really need the broad tip I can't control it very well either and that gray is uh, Minnie's eyes or you know, Kitty's pants or puppy's face when I actually ink it in because she's not inked in right there yeah there we go there we go puppy's face and uh, yeah that pretty much um, is everything that I use over and over and over again as far as um, physical things. Oh, the uh, paper. The paper is, uh, it's a Bristol pad. Oh, hang on a sec. Whoops, upside down. Let's turn that right side up. Yeah, bis Bristol um, smooth because the vellum will eat your pens. Although vellum is really, really good for painting on. And um, I have this particular um, size because I can, let's see, there's the size. There's, these come in 24 sheets instead of 20 sheets. And I can get three comic, um, three comics in, on one piece of paper. So that's just infinitely better for me. So there you go. That's everything I do. Um, the rest is just putting it to a scanner and then... Uh, using a free uh, software called GIMP, which is kind of like Photoshop, although it doesn't do all the neat little things, but it does everything I need it to do. And that's my entire um, art regimen. Just me and um, supplies and goofiness. So yeah, there we go. Um, hope you're having a lovely day. Bye.